Summer is just around the corner, but please don't rush out the door just yet. Instead, stay in and catch some of the new and returning movies and TV shows coming to Netflix in June. As always, this is the list for the US Netflix only and we'll have the full list at the end of the video. Yo, you getting on the freeway? Get on the street, no! If you've never seen Clueless, the modern adaptation of Jane Austen's Emma, an ode to the nouveau riche have and have nots, then here is your chance. On June 1st, the beloved 90s rom-com, which stars Alicia Silverstone as a Beverly Hills teen with a heart and wallet of gold, comes to Netflix. Also featuring Donald Faison, Brittany Murphy, and Paul Rudd, as well as a handful of classic, quotable scenes, there's not a doubt that this is one of the best teen films ever made. I want to go where culture is, like How New York, world I raise such or at least snob. Connecticut or New Hampshire, Sorry, where writers you, live in the get woods. Get into those schools anyway. Mom! Another film about a teenage girl shaking up the status quo with questionable tastes in boys, Lady Bird. Yes, the first Greta Gerwig, Saoirse Ronan, Timothy Chalamet team-up arrives to Netflix on June 3rd. Gerwig's critically acclaimed first solo directing endeavor is a much more recent and grounded snapshot coming-of-age story, focusing more on the mother-daughter relationship of the early aughts in Sacramento, California. Okay, action! I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. What the f- it doesn't work if you're looking at the camera! A fellow A24 movie coming to Netflix is The Disaster Artist. Starring James Franco as Tommy Wiseau and Dave Franco as Greg Sestero, The Disaster Artist is based on the true-life account of making the best, worst movie ever. It's always fun to see real-life relatives act against each other, and both Francos use their personal relationship to bring this story to life. In the process, the film pulls back the curtain on Hollywood's most mysterious man, and hopefully we all learn a little bit more about this mad genius on June 1st. David Fincher's Zodiac is coming back to Netflix on the 1st, and since we live in a superhero world, I'll sell it to you by saying you get to watch Tony Stark, Bruce Banner, and Mysterio in 70s San Francisco trying to crack the case of the Zodiac Killer. What more can you want? But seriously, as we know, the Zodiac Killer is still at large, and since this story follows the beginning of the case in 1969 to a somewhat stopping point in 1983, this film feels half based on a true story and half horror story. Also on the first, The Silence of the Lambs may not focus on a real serial killer, but Hannibal Lecter is sure based on enough of them to create an equally terrifying monster. Jodie Foster's Clarice must catch a serial killer called Buffalo Bill who is killing and skinning young women. In order to do that, she has to keep her cool against Anthony Hopkins's chilling Hannibal Lecter and stay two steps ahead of him the whole time. And if watching The Silence of the Lambs didn't fill your Hannibal needs, then you can check out all three seasons of Hannibal, which are coming to Netflix on June 5th. Before his downfall, Dr. Hannibal Lecter, played deliciously by Mads Mikkelsen, got to wear fancy suits, cook delicious food, and toy with a different FBI agent by the name of Will Graham, played by Hugh Dancy. The gorgeously gory cinematography and intense cat and mouse game between Graham and Lecter made this show a must-watch that stands on its own apart from the films. Who was that guy? That brother was the best damn soldier that ever lived. From Oscar award-winning director Spike Lee comes The Five Bloods, which hits Netflix on June 12th. The film follows four African-American soldiers who return to Vietnam decades later in search of the remains of their fallen squad leader, played by Chadwick Boseman, and the treasure he helped them bury. In addition to facing nature's obstacles, they'll also be confronted with the effects of the war on the country and themselves. On my birthday, June 19th, we have season two of The Politician, the election on steroids dramedy from Ryan Murphy. We don't have a trailer for season two, so we're using season one. Bear with us. Instead of staying in the limited world of high school, the politician jumped forward three years and instead of student body elections, Ben Platt's ambitious Peyton is now vying for a seat on the New York State Senate and will do anything it takes to get there. As for stand-up specials, we have Joe Coy in his element, which he filmed in Our Motherland of the Philippines, coming to Netflix on June 12th, and Eric Andre's first ever Netflix stand-up special, Legalize Everything, coming on the 23rd. Cheers, I'll drink to that, bro. On the 12th, Pokemon Journey the series is coming to Netflix. Technically, it is the 23rd season in the ongoing Pokemon series, but this time they have to make a clarification because Ash and Pikachu are packing up their bags and heading to Vermilion City. With new friends going, Score Bunny, watch as they all go on new adventures, fight familiar foes, and learn about Dynamaxing and the joys of research academia. There are many international things that America just 
doesn't participate in, like the metric system or using Celsius instead of Fahrenheit or the Eurovision Song Contest. But Will Ferrell is trying to remedy that. Eurovision Song Contest, the story of Fire Saga, will come to Netflix on the 26th. While there is no trailer, there is this insane music video for this song written by Will Ferrell and Rachel McAdams' Icelandic contestants. Yes, that really is Rachel McAdams. She is an incredible dramatic actress, but she has so much fun making comedies, and who are we to deny her of that joy? I for one am super excited for this one and can't wait for it to come out at the end of the month. So these are a few of the picks that we have from everything coming to Netflix in June. What are you most excited about? Let us know in the comments. Now as promised, here's the full list. See ya!